you guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, Happy New Year! You guys, you made it! Here's the thing, this year was not easy and if you're watching this video, you survived and I'm proud of you for that. If you are new to my channel, hello, welcome, my name is Hannah and I am making old recipes from little recipe tins that my mom found in estate sales. They're grandma's recipes, but I don't know whose grandma's recipes they are. They're everybody's grandma's recipes, and some of them are gonna be good, and some of them are gonna be really... You know what I'm talking about. So, I had a revelation. After Christmas, I always get a little bit sad because you spend all this time like making cookies, getting in the spirit, and then the next day, you like throw your tree out. I don't know, I do that because I'm like, it's over, I gotta get over it. Tis the season to be over it. And then I realized, you know what? I could make cookies for New Year's. You don't have to stop celebrating. You can continue to have holiday spirit through all the holidays. So today we're making cookies and I found this really fun recipe in grandma's box. It's from an old magazine. This has a bunch of different kinds of cookies. But today we're making old fashioned sour cream cookies. Actually, if you go to my Instagram, which is at like grandma used to make, people voted on this. So go to my Instagram if you wanna vote on the next recipes that I make. I want you to watch things that you want to watch be made. So sour cream cookies just sounded really interesting to me. Like sour cream in my cookies? Maybe. Maybe. This magazine is from the 50s, so we know that this recipe is from the 50s. This one I can't make gluten-free. Usually I like to make things gluten-free, but I think that that would change the flavor of it too much because I'd have to like figure out all the flour and all the extra things that you have to do for gluten-free stuff. So I just stuck to regular flour. This is the OG recipe untouched. So let's make some sour cream cookies, just like grandma used to make. The first thing you're gonna need is a half cup of shortening. It says part butter, so I did part butter, part shortening. Then you're gonna add one cup of sugar, one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And you're gonna mix that up. I just like to say that my light stand broke and I had to do all this one-handed, so good for me. In a separate cup, sift two and two-thirds cups of flour, so it looks like a little powdered mountain like this. Add one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and mix all of that together. You're gonna combine your wet and dry ingredients and then add a half cup of sour cream, which I struggled to do one-handed and finally did it and mix all of that together. You're eventually gonna have to use your hands to get all of the dough together. Preheat your oven to 425, which sounds shocking, we'll talk about it later. Roll out your dough to be a quarter inch thick and cut out in any shape that you'd like. I use stars because they remind me of New Year's. And then you're gonna put it in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. Now, that was way too much and everything burned on the sides. So I did two minutes less and still came out burned. We'll talk about it. The cookies came out interesting. As you could tell, the tips of them were burned. See, it's weird because it's just the tips of them. The temperature was up pretty high for cookies. Like I don't normally set my temperature that high for cookies. So maybe it's because of the temperature. Then I tried moving the rack down one and then I put some more cookies on and they turned out a little bit better but I also pulled them out two minutes early. So honestly, I think it's the oven is way too hot. But we're gonna give it a shot. So here's the cookies, so let's do it. Um, I can tell you already, this looks pretty dry. That's dry. That's a dry cookie. It tastes like an animal cracker. <laughs> I'm waiting for the sour cream to like appear. I, look, it didn't taste bad. It kinda tastes like a biscuit. Yeah, I don't know, Grandma. I don't know, Graham. It would taste better with icing on it, no doubt, but the cookie has to taste good on its own before you put icing on it. Look at the bottom of that. That's not right. <laughs> Bummer. I really thought that that was gonna taste better than it did. I'm just trying to keep a positive here. This could work well with like an espresso, maybe like a little bit of tea because you usually have something more dry when you eat that. But it's, it's a biscuit, it's not a cookie. It's just dry, the dough is dry, it's dry. Well guys, they can't all be winners. And honestly, what a great way to end 2020. <laughs>
We'll leave 2020 with this recipe and say good riddance. Hey recipe, it's been interesting. Hey 2020, it's been real interesting. At least this year, we go in, we are used to it now. Maybe the, the pain and the, the anxiety wears off a little bit more for you and you can move into next year with new purpose and look for something to look forward to. I know it's kind of hard to find things to look forward to, but I'd like you to do that. This turned into a therapy session. I really didn't mean it to. Um, you guys, thank you so much for watching. It's okay that we ended on an okay recipe because there's more recipes to come. There's more years to come. We've got some really fun stuff coming up in the future and they're not all gonna be sweet. I've only made sweet recipes so far, but they are not all gonna be sweet. Some of them are gonna be savory and some of them are gonna be very weird savory. Like, are you sure you wanna make that, Hannah? If you like this video, if you like my channel, like and subscribe below. I would love to have you along for the ride. I've got so many recipes coming up. Happy New Year, be safe, celebrate, that you made it through the year whether or not you are in a good place or not you're here you're with us we're together you're not alone happy 2021 happy new year friends